Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. I just want to let you know I got this new movie coming out. It's called Creed, and it's really good, so I thought maybe you should probably go see it, you know? Seriously, it is pretty good. This movie focuses on young Adonis Johnson, played by Michael B. Jordan, who is apparently the product of an affair that Apollo Creed had with another woman before his death. And I don't know what it is about this family naming their kids after Greek gods, but first we had Apollo and now Adonis. And Adonis, or Donnie, has had a pretty rough childhood, as you can imagine, and has bounced between foster homes and juvie until he is finally tracked down by the widow of Apollo Creed, who volunteers to take him in. Fast forward a few years, and it appears Mrs. Creed has done a pretty good job of raising Donnie right. He's at least trying to live a normal life. He's got a good office job, just got a promotion. But he's got his father's blood in him, and he just can't resist the call to boxing. So he quits his job, moves to Philadelphia, where he meets and falls in love with a woman named Bianca, played by Tessa Thompson, who is an aspiring musician. And he also tracks down Rocky, once again played by Sylvester Stallone, and asks if he will train him. This is, I believe, the first movie in the Rocky series that was not written by Stallone. It was actually written by Aaron Covington and Ryan Coogler, the latter of which also directed. Overall, the story is pretty solid, has some good dramatic moments, and actually a few funny moments as well. Uh, one in particular just before Donnie is about to go out for his first professional fight after being trained by Rocky, and while they're in the dressing room getting the instructions from the referee, all of a sudden he starts freaking out and starts screaming at Rocky, Rocky, cut my gloves off! Cut him off! Like, we can't cut him off now. Like, no, 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 you gotta cut him off! I gotta take a shit! Like, what? <laughs> This just comes right out of nowhere. Just He's, he's freaking out that badly because suddenly he's got to take a shit before his fight. He's like, cut him off unless you want to wipe my ass for me. He's like, all right, cut him off. <laughs> I love that scene. The main theme for this movie is fighting, basically, which I'm sure comes as a huge surprise. What's this? A boxing movie is about fighting? The hell you say? But obviously it's not all fighting in the ring. There's that too, but... For Donnie, the fight is more a personal struggle with trying to find his own identity because he wants to carve out his own individual legacy and not rely simply on his father's name. In fact, when he has his first professional fight after he trains with Rocky, he doesn't even use the Creed name. He's just Hollywood Donnie Johnson. But over time, he has to recognize that he is the son of Apollo Creed, and he's still at least partly going to carry on his legacy as well as his own, and he's trying to find a balance between the two. His girlfriend Bianca has her own struggle with some sort of degenerative hearing disorder. Basically, over time, she's gradually going deaf, and she's a musician. Obviously, this is a problem, so she's trying to get her music career up and running as quickly as possible before she can't do it anymore, which has got to suck. That's, that's a situation you never wish anyone to be in. And Rocky has to go through his own battle, which for once is not in the ring. It's uh, more of a personal struggle with, well, I don't want to say what it is because that's getting into spoiler territory, and I think this will mean more if you go in fresh without hearing it from me. But it's, it's a pretty powerful story. Overall, the acting was pretty good. I really liked Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed, did a fantastic job. Tessa Thompson does a very good job as Bianca. Felicia Rashad plays Marianne Creed, and I have not seen her in a long time. Definitely nice to see her again. She does a great job. And once again, you have Sylvester Stallone as Rocky, who is just awesome in this movie. This is probably his best performance since... Well, since the first Rocky movie, really. He's just so very good, and I will never get tired of him playing this character, ever. The direction and the cinematography was all very good. Coogler really seems to know how to film this type of movie and does a fantastic job. A uh, lot of cool little visuals here and there. Like, there's a scene early on when Donnie is watching some footage on YouTube of one of Apollo's early fights with Rocky, and as he's watching it on this big uh, projector. He's kind of shadow boxing along with it. Really cool visual. And one thing that really impressed me, the way they filmed Donnie's first fight after he trains with Rocky, the entire fight, bell to bell, is seemingly done in one take. I say seemingly because maybe there is some trickery going on here that I just couldn't spot. Maybe they hit it well with some clever editing or 
digital effects or something, but it looks like the entire fight, all five, six minutes of it, there are no cuts at all, which was, if that's really how they did it, that is damned impressive, because it looks amazing. It's, in a way, kind of reminded me of Javier Bardem's introduction in Skyfall, when he steps off that elevator and slowly starts walking toward Bond, giving that little speech about the rats, and the camera never cuts away for that entire two minutes or so it takes him to walk up to Daniel Craig. And I was kind of reminded of that scene. And here's the interesting thing. After that fight is over, they cut back to uh, Rocky's house where Rocky, Donnie, and Bianca are all sitting on the couch and just absolutely exhausted. Donnie especially, as you can imagine he would be. And they're just sitting there watching TV and they're watching Skyfall. Coincidence? Probably. But <laughs> it is a neat thing to think about. Maybe Coogler did take some inspiration from Skyfall there. Who knows? Overall, this movie was very well done. I would not at all be surprised to see a few Oscar nominations go its way. Maybe even a supporting actor nod for Sylvester Stallone? Maybe. We'll see. I would definitely recommend it, especially for fans of the Rocky series. This is easily worth your time. Creed officially hits theaters on November 25th. Go see it. Until next time, take care.